bonehead guitars. Let's go build some junk. has started. All the fun stuff's over with. exactly how many coats we got on here. Probably like seven or eight. I'm thinking. I don't remember. Uh, but I'm thinking it's probably about time we can uh, try to level. See how it looks. Um, <clears throat> got uh, 320 on the old orbital. And it's fairly well used. So... Try to knock the finish down a little bit and see what it's like because I'm tired of waiting. I want to put it together and we're getting damn close to Halloween and I really want it done by then. So we'll give it a shot, see what happens. I probably should have put another coat of grain filler on there, but I think we're probably thick enough. I need to take it down some more, but I think we're thick enough. Thank God, I'm tired of spraying it. I want it working. I want to. I want to see how it turns out. All right, I'm knocking that down. I'm wet sanding, starting with 400. Uh, then I'll move to 600, and I've got some 2,000 I'll hit it with last. See what that looks like, then we'll start on the car polish. I 
Alright, it's the 29th. I really wanted this thing done by Halloween. We ain't quite there yet. Um, so... Uh, the way it was looking after I had got, you know, I, what you saw, I leveled it down, uh, sanded, wet sanded with 320, 400, 600, and 1200, 2000, sorry, uh, and the way it was looking, I wasn't exactly sure how it was going to turn out when I polished, and frankly, I too lazy to finish that up right now. So, uh, the way a couple spots were looking, I thought it would be a good idea to hit it one more time. Just, you know, now that it was level, just one quick layer of lacquer. So it did that. And it looks pretty damn glossy. Um, so, I have no doubt we'll come back sometime later and actually finish it properly. But right now, sake of speeding things along I'm gonna call this good for the time being especially since I don't know what the truss rod situation how bad that is I'm afraid if it's bad enough then we will have to for the first time try lifting the damn fretboard off so we can replace the damn truss rod and I am not in the least bit interested in doing that right now so, I'm thinking at the moment, I'm going to pile the hardware on it and string it up and uh, see what happens. And depending on how that goes, then, you know, maybe tomorrow I can take the time to actually wire up the electronics. <laughs> oh my god, those are going to be so pretty. Yes, sir, indeedy. Okay, well, let's load it up and see what the hell my thing looks like. At least I have the presence of mind to label those. Bridge and neck. I don't know, I can't imagine it's too damn exciting watching me putting hardware on, so maybe I'll just uh, hook back up with you once it's put together. Save you some time and me some uh, disk space. Yeah. Well, it's every bit as pretty as I expected. <clears throat> it looks fantastic. However, um, one of my rings broke, screwing it on, and I, as I suspected and was afraid of, the neck is backbowed a little bit, and uh, yeah, it frets out horribly. So, we still got some work to do, I'm afraid, I know one of these days I'm just going to have to break down and peel the damn fretboard off and replace the truss rod. But everything else for the most part is all right. Uh, I probably could have mounted the body a little bit higher so the pickups were a little closer. Could be a little closer, but yeah, well, live and learn. We'll know better next time. But oh my god, it's pretty. November 1st, mark this down in your calendars. This was the day a big old bonehead saved us. All right, when I was trying to flatten the uh, neck, straighten the neck so we could level frets, um, it's like a turn and a half of busted the damn truss rod. Uh, here's the deal. I got two of these on clearance. Okay. This is what your truss rod looks like. You've got a threaded rod and a flat rod, and they're welded together here and down here. Actually, they're folded over, it looks like. Anyway, all right, uh, with your hex not there, uh, this threads on to 
your threaded rod. It's a 10 by 32. Okay, and then it's got this sleeve welded on top of it. So, when you tighten, of course it, you know, will shorten the rod and therefore uh, bow the flat rod out. Okay, when you loosen, the lip on this sleeve is what that presses against to lengthen the rod versus the flat rod. Alright, about a turn and a half what happened with me, the welded part stayed right there and the whole damn thing just popped off. Okay, so I knew I was screwed. I could turn it the one way I didn't need it, I couldn't turn it the other way. Um, I happen to have one more of these cheap ass rods, um, and I couldn't help but think, I just don't want to take the fretboard off. So I thought if I could find some way, because I know I drilled our access port too large, I drilled it as big as the damn barrel on this thing. So I couldn't help but think if I could uh, find something to pull that nut out find something to thread onto there and pull, maybe I could pull the damn thing out. And as it turns out, I could. <laughs> However, I just realized the sleeve that was on it stayed in there. That's no damn good, because I was just thinking how hard it would be to push the replacement in. So I don't know, we may not have saved our ass after all, but, uh, I don't know. It's possible. I can't believe the damn sleeve stayed. Yeah, maybe I can find something to reach in there and grab it with. Anyway, half a win for the bonehead. Anyway. Uh, what I did, I got some threaded rod with a nut and a coupling nut, so I could screw that on there. Uh, deal is, I got one that was 10 by 32, which was perfect, and the damn coupling nut is too big to go in the access port. 10 by 24, uh, it fits, and it just so happens I could thread enough onto that thing to, to get onto it. Um, I had this dinky little handle, this little knob for... 1032. I didn't have anything for 1024, and that thing would kind of thread on there, but it's not enough. I needed more, so I don't even know what the hell that is. It's one of my dad's old tools. Yeah, well, with a nut, it turned into a pretty good handle. <laughs> so pull the damn thing out, but now I got to figure out how to get the sleeve out. And then see if we can cram the, oh, the uh, replacement in without tearing it up. So. Still lots of big question marks, but <laughs> still had to share. Like, subscribe, watch. Like I said, learn from it or at least be entertained. Stick around and watch Bonehead Guitars, where booze and power tools very often meet. Cheers.